In this social networking traffic video, we're going to be looking at StumbleUpon, a site that is just growing and growing and growing um, in popularity across the internet. Uh, it allows you to put a, a, a toolbar uh, onto your desktop, onto your browser, like Internet Explorer or to Firefox. You can just download it for free. And then you can start literally stumbling upon by rating different sites, pages, videos, pretty much anything. I mean, you can add it to blogs, you can do it about videos, about websites, about people, all sorts of things. Now, the idea is the more popularity and the more times a site gets stumbled, the more traffic you're likely to get. Um, the sites can also be reviewed as well. So this is a great way of getting traffic to your site. What I mean by that, if you look at here, for example, recently popular websites with StumbleUpon, if you hover over it and you click the site, you'll see that it actually opens up the website itself, as you can see here. It's quite a nice video there about different seasons from the BBC. Anyway, so there you can see um, that it's had 166 reviews. And if I had the little browser, which is like, we'll see that in a moment, it's like a little thumbs up and thumbs down. If I had that, um, I could rate the site as well. Uh, and this will, in turn, uh, give it a better rating. This is great because it's a great way of getting traffic. Now, you can use this to put on your blog. You'll see a lot of WordPress nowadays. Um, WordPress, if I, if I just quickly have a look for you. Um, if we go to the tools and buttons, as you can see here, you can put these types of buttons on your blog. Um, this will then allow people, when they click the link, to stumble your site. So you can, and here's a little thumbs up and thumbs down as well to rate it. Uh, you can link directly to your profile uh, on StumbleUpon. Uh, if you want to do it with blogs, you can go to your blog. If you've got a WordPress blog or a blogger blog, but let's take WordPress, you just download the image. Uh, and put it on your site. So again, when people have read a story they like on your blog, they can stumble upon it, which rates it. And it's been shown that by using this consistently uh, within your blogs or within your websites or with videos that you're producing, if you're doing video networking as well, it's a great way to get traffic. So how do we get a Stumble account? Well, if we go to home, we uh, literally just go to join Stumble upon today. So let's do that now and we put in our email address and we choose a username. So we'll do that now. You put your birthday, just put a day in here. Days gone by. You're, and you have to put in the, if you could actually read it, you have to put in the words as well and it's with a space and you can play it and then you hit um, let friends find me by email um, show website ratings and reviews next to search status I'm going to put uh, join and download now okay so as you can see here we've joined and it's taken it's because I'm actually using Firefox it's taken me straight through to the Firefox install um, and you'll be able to channel surf the internet with StumbleUpon toolbar to find great websites, videos, photos based on your interests. Uh, it learns what you like and makes better recommendations um, because the idea is as you stumble through different categories, it shows you another website, you rate it and go on to the next one. It's kind of like a social networking um, traffic site um, traffic exchange in a way and there's ways of, of, of developing that there is actually a site as well which is called stumble upon exchange where you can exchange stumbles with other people who are on the sites it's a great little um, sort of viable tool as well to get traffic up on your site so uh, we're installing it now to the Firefox browser so we just literally hit install now and if you've got Internet Explorer you have a similar thing but I'm using Firefox so I just install it to Firefox Install the, the information. Yep, I want to install it now. And as you can see there, it's just going to go through the process now of installing it. Here we go. Installing. Restart to complete the thing. So we're going to restart Firefox right now. Okay, and as we restart, Firefox reopens. The thing I love about Firefox is it reopens where the sites you already opened. Um, so it's already gone through that process. 
So if we now want to select the sites that we'd like to discover, so here you'd now take the time to go through choosing the different types of subjects and sites you'd like to stumble upon. So you're going to go through that. I'm going to go through that now quickly and then hit save my settings so you haven't got to be bored watching me click different interests. Once you've collected the different, um, you've, you've hit the section where you've chosen your topics, you'll get this page here which basically says start stumbling. Select, uh, simply click the stumble button in your browser and find interesting stuff recommended by like-minded people. Give us feedback and we'll make better suggestions. So you start stumbling. If I just bring this down for you for a moment, you'll see the toolbar. Okay, so once we've set it up and we've had our password given to us, which will be sent to our email account from setting up the site, we now start stumbling, but we're going to sign in first. So we're going to use our email address that we signed up with. And we put in our password. And we hit OK. As you can see here with Firefox, we can actually see reviews of other threads as well. Um, whilst we're searching in search results if we want to, so we can put that on or off. I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, so we are here. We can now connect with friends. We can use uh, our Gmail contacts, uh, etc., etc., to log in. Um, that will then send an invite to our friends as well. Um, we can show sites that we've blogged, that we've liked, that we've discovered, that we've disliked, that we've stumbled upon, that we've made top picks, etc. We can connect with friends that we've made on StumblePod. I think it limits you to about 200 friends though at this stage. I think there's a limit on how many you can have. And if you look at this part here where it says explore website about, the more bold um, the the actual uh, the, 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 the wording, um, the more popular it is. So here if we look at graph graphic design, for example, we'll explore websites about graphic design. So you can also add your photograph and upload it as well. But here we can go and read comments and information um, about Flash. So, for example, if we go to this one, it will take us to their website. And it's loading now. As you can see, it's using this wonderful little mouse pointer so we can make pretty patterns. So, for example, we thought this was um, really cool. Uh, we would actually come up here to I like it or I don't like it um, and would go from there. So, if we go back to Stumble, it takes us onto another page. And what it's doing is every time it's, it's putting us into um, it's stumbling different sites to see if we like them. So, we could stumble another one and it will load them again. And it's loading sites that are related to topics I said I was interested in. Um, so it's now going to pull up another website um, when it decides to wake up. There we go, another one's come up. So as you can see, you basically start stumbling through sites and you can then say whether you like them or not. You can also then, the cool part here is if I wanted to, I could send them to people, um, I could add emails, I could import contacts, and I can send them instantly to friends. So if there's a page I like, I can actually email it to someone I've added to my friend's um, email address straight away. Or I can add in a new address, type in a new address, and actually send an email to a friend of mine saying, come look at this website, Martin's just told you it's brilliant. So you can see how viable this potentially could be if you create a very good site that someone just ends, just then decides to come and find. The other cool feature here to stumble upon is if you click the People tab, it's looking whereabouts you are in, in the world. Um, as I put, I'm in the UK. It's then starting to suggest other people that are online that are nearby. And if I wanted to put, start trying to network with some of these people, I might be able to go and look at their file and, 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 and contact them, etc. If I go to Websites, then it gives me a different choice of recently popular websites. So we might decide to go look at, for example, um, the BBC site that's had 11 views. So we click that, and it opens a new page. And this looks like an interesting uh, thread. So we might go, yeah, I like this. Give me more of this. So you give it a good good vote. And as you can see here, if we go into videos. Uh, we can look 
we'll watch different videos we might be interested in as well, and we can also then stumble upon those. So that's generally how it works. Um, and the more people then that stumble upon you and your particular videos, blogs, articles, the more traffic you can expect to see. Um, and that's by getting people to do a little thumbs up. So what is well worth doing if you want to build your traffic is to have something like a blog where you put your videos and you put your stories, your article content, and then encourage people that are friends of yours or people that are on your list, if you've got members, to actually go and read your blog. And if they like what they read, to give it a thumbs up, because that in turn will then see you getting more traffic from Stumble Upon Direct. So it's as easy as that to get started. You basically set up, um, put your info and details in, and then you'll get this toolbar here that you can download. And then you can start using this to go through. If you click the Things I've Liked button, you'll see that it's going to go to the blog. This is the one that I pulled up early on that I said I liked. Um, and if you want to change your interests to the different types of sites you're going to read, if you hit Manage Your Interests, you'll see the ones I originally picked when I was logging on come up here. I can then go through and choose to add more if I want to in different categories. So I can go back to there as well. Um, and that's it. That's as easy as it is. So make sure you're getting your site stumbled upon. It's a great way for building traffic. And thanks for watching the video.